Well, to discuss this issue further, I'm joined by Professor Mohamed Marandi from the University of Tehran, right here in Tehran. Thanks so much for being with us. Um, your take, let, let's start off from the French president and uh, what he said that Saudi Arabia has to be uh, part of new talks. Your perspective of what, uh, first of all, gives Macron the right to say this and how likely is that to happen? I'm sure that Macron himself knows that no such thing will happen. And he's probably saying these things in order to be able to sell more arms to Saudi Arabia. Because as we all know, the French regime has been deeply involved in the uh, massacres taking place in Yemen by the Saudi Emirati alliance and uh, the French economy is in crisis uh, Western Europe North America all of these countries are facing uh, not only a crisis because of COVID-19 but more importantly uh, a major economic crisis is being is growing in this part of the world and uh, France even before COVID-19 was experiencing major problems at home as we saw with the yellow vest protests and other uh, signs of unrest in the country. So the French are not in a strong position economically speaking. They're not in a strong position politically speaking. They desperately, desperately need to increase their arms exports and I think that all of these combined are what leads him to make such statements in order to please uh, princes in Riyadh so that they will spend more money in France. Mm -hmm. In general, when we look at the JCPOA, Dr. Marandi, um, how likely are we to see this accord being resuscitated? Well, personally, I've always been skeptical. I think we should all recall that during Obama, the United States never implemented the deal they only implemented parts of the deal and uh, the mistake that Iran made back then was that uh, the Iranians went and carried out all of their obligations and sat waiting for the United States and the Americans never intended to reciprocate so they only implemented bits and pieces and uh, they kept the Iranians waiting until Trump came and tore the deal altogether. I don't think Biden is going to be any better than Obama, probably uh, we are going to see less implementation ultimately by the United States. The, the Americans will probably, and this is just speculation on my behalf, they will probably um, have some change in policy. There will be some presidential decrees which will ease some of the less important sanctions, but that will be done basically for the Americans to be able to put pressure on Iran and say that, look, we've done, we've shown goodwill, and now, now you should implement the deal. But that's not going to happen. The Iranians are not going to be fooled by the Americans again. And uh, I think the leader has been very clear, everyone else is clear. It's full implementation uh, by the Americans that will be acceptable for Iran this time around. No more games, no more buying for time, no more trying to uh, fool Iranians into implementation in the hope that the Americans will reciprocate at the, some later date. That's not going to happen. Even though Persian media owned by Western regimes like BBC Persian, VOA, Deutsche Welle, uh, Iran International, Manotou, and all these other outlets, including their online armies in Albania and elsewhere, will try to create psychological warfare and push ordinary Iranians into believing that the Americans have fulfilled their obligations so that they can increase pressure on the Iranian side for the Iranians to give concessions, but that's not going to work this time around because the Iranians have agreed to the nuclear deal, the JCPOA, it's been negotiated, and if the Americans are sincere, there's nothing more to negotiate. It's already been negotiated. Implement the deal and then you can talk about further negotiations and further discussions. But until the Americans uh, are unwilling to abide with what they've already committed themselves to, there's nothing to talk about.
All right, and on that note, thank you for being with us. Dr. Mohammed Marandi, professor at the University of Tehran.